Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this keyboard from Womia or Woomia or however you want to pronounce it. It's uh, available on a website called Banggood. The recommended retail price for this is around about £55, but at the moment it seems that they've got some sort of discount of around about 20% on there. We do have affiliate links in the description if you do want to click on them. Uh, but in basics, it is called the K66. There's a reason why it's called the K66, because it only has 66 keys. Um, compared to most keyboards which is 104 so this is not even a 10 keyless which is where they get rid of the number pad and stuff like this it actually get rid of a lot of the F keys and combine them in the 1 to 0 keys uh, and a few bits like that so it cuts down on the amount of keys which makes it nice and compact but not only that it's got a lot of RGB features on there it's going to be hard to see from the uh, picture here but we'll put some b-roll up in a minute so you can see but it's all controlled through the keyboard, the RGB lighting is. So you can change the key lights, but also the surround lights separately. To my knowledge, I think there's a six or eight surround different styles, and then there's 18 different color combinations for the actual keys itself. You may not be able to get the exact colors you want, but there's a hell of a lot of combinations like rolling and rainbow effects and stuff like that for you to play about with. It's pretty bright as well doesn't do its benefit in a studio like this when I've got around about 20 lights pointing at it uh, but in a normal situation you would find it uh, very bright as well and as I said it's roughly around about £55 uh, but they do have a discount which is taking it down to around about £44 at the time of filming. Okay, let's have a look at the box. It says Wamia on the front, take the helm to head for victory. Okay, so other than that, it says coloured glaze, uh, 66 key acrylic RGB Grattan quick swap keyboard. Uh, it's got a red switch on there, got a barcode which is upside down. Uh, on the back, it tells you about RGB illumination. You've got your other features and specifications on the back, which you can read there if you really want to. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for the box. Okay, so this is what you've got in the box. You've got a manual. Basically, tells you the basic specification features, blah blah blah, as well as the functions. Functions are all for the keyboard, so you have to hold, for example, function control to change the light and effects, uh, and then the other function control changes the number of light and effects, and then function plus insert and delete also changes the brightness. So it's pretty straightforward. And there are one or two other bits on there, but I don't think you really need to go too much in depth, but the, they are. The cable is here, it is a USB-C type cable, which in all honesty it advertises at USB-C, yeah it's able for 40 gigabits per second and all that and so forth, which brilliant. The catch is, is does it need USB-C in all reality, not really, and the way you read it you'd think it was a USB-C type cable you plug it into your device, it's not the USB-C type part which is that bit, actually plugs directly in the back of the keyboard. There. If we can get it in, there we go. Right, so that's in there, and then the USB type A connection plugs into your laptop. Uh, for example, over here, and then all the lights come on, and away you go. Before we get into the lighting, let's just have a look at the rest of the keyboard. You've got your keycaps on there. They feel a little bit thin, to be honest with you. They do come off. On this one, it's a red Grattan switch. They do other colours as well, so it's not the loudest, which is good. So it's all down to preference, what you prefer, just to give you an idea. Spacebar makes a little bit more of a bump but it is stable it doesn't seem to rock the backspace key actually feels a little bit stuck let's see if that comes off it looks like it's clipped in but yeah it's sort of sticking down a bit that one I'm hoping that's just a one-off but it's not the best quality that 
backspace for that. Uh, the other keys seem all right. I'm just looking actually. That that backspace key is. Let me plug it into the laptop so we can see if it affects the laptop. So we've got anything highlighted. It's not automatically deleting anything. Hey, we've got a problem here. What did you do? Houston, we have a problem. Oh, it is. It's sticking. So that key is st sticking. It's not always de deleting, and sometimes it deletes everything. So it looks like I potentially may have a faulty keyboard there. Potentially. Which isn't good. But let's go through the rest of the review, so it gives you a rough idea. This keyboard is from a company called Banggood, yeah, Banggood, so that's B-A-N-G-G-O-O-D dot com, and they sell all sorts of devices like this. They have various different versions. This is the K66 keyboard, because there's only 66 keys. If you notice, there's no function keys on there. They're actually combined in with 1 to 0 and so forth. Uh, which is there. As you can see we've already got the cable plugged in. This is a two meter cable. Another downside of this cable, it's that rubbery thing you sort of kept type cable you get on and with being white as well. You get them on like um, iPhones and stuff like that uh, and they get very dirty very quick and they look really nasty and sort of age uh, which isn't a real good thing in all honesty. Um, but let's have a look at the lighting effects function and control will change the colouring of the keys itself uh, or at least the effects. You can't change the colours to be specific colours unless it just happens to be one to one of the effects. So if you wanted the whole keyboard as red, well it's not going to go all red. It seems to fade out from one colour to another. So you've got your sweeping effect and different speeds. That lights up when you press a key. That's sort of like a snake effect. Same again, and so forth. So there's about 18 different colour combinations there you can have. Uh, another option is holding the function down and this control key, it changes the lighting around the edge of the keyboard as you can see there. So you can have different effects on there. Again, you can't set it at a specific colour. So if you want the whole keyboard red, you cannot have it all red. You want it all blue and so forth. You've got, you're have got stuck with the effects. It does. Uh, you can change the brightness. Again, function, delete. We'll turn the brightness down all the way to off. It looks like a 25% increase each time. Or is it 33? Yeah, 33%. Yeah, 33% increase uh, each time, roughly. So it's off and then low, medium, high. So 25 to 33%, depending on which you class has off as a percentage or not. Um, but there we go. So it gives you a rough idea. Also, holding function and space will give you different effects as well. Um, but in all reality, uh, you're stuck with some preset effects. The lights do change all the way from one side to the other so it's not this bit's always red, this bit's always blue, green and whatever. So the colours do change uh, but you just can't set them at that specific colour. Uh, the cable, just to let you know if I didn't mention, it was two metres long or is two metres long. Um, let's have a look if they've got any other features on here. What the the same, it's a USB Type C, USB 3.1, data transmission speed of 40 gigabits per second. Didn't really matter if it's half a gigabit a second, to be honest with you, it's a keyboard. Um, you, you're not plugging in a super duper portable SSD or anything here. Um, compact, portable, easy. Uh, yeah, we get all that. Graton switches. Uh, USB 3.1 data transmission speed, yeah, we've already gone through that. Something about PMMA uh, acrylic, which makes it, uh, gives it sort of a glaze appearance uh, and makes it look good basically, uh, which is good for RGB. Uh, they've gone through the USB Type C 3.1 data transmission speed three times now in the features. Uh, then it's plug and play, and yeah, we get that, adjust the lights with function keys, built in variety of cool lighting mode options choice. Again, 
basically the features is actually only about three features that just repeat each one two or three times or change the wording a little bit to make it sound like a different feature uh, don't get me wrong it's not a bad keyboard for the price um, it's currently on their website for what was it now uh, £43.66, uh, it says 21% off, it should normally be £54.97, um, but in all honesty, I don't know if that's a permanent discount or not. So overall, it's not a bad keyboard, shame about that backspace, because that's basically making the keyboard unoperable for me, so I can't really test the typing quality and stuff like that, so I'm not going to recommend this product.